Okay, is there anybody else here? Oh, well, let's see. Oh yeah, there are a ton of people I haven't met. I haven't met her either. Well, they must be around here somewhere. Hello? Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. Okay, please put her in somewhere, anywhere. Please get her off the streets. Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, miss? What you did for work? I was... strong. Proud. I campaigned for good causes. But that was before... before... It does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. Is she a, uh... Vampire type person? What happened to you? The rats! The answer hides in their little crunchy bones, their juicy, tiny brains. Miss Billow, please try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Are you sure? And you haven't just turned into a cat? Because you sound like you've turned into a cat. Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it? Yes! Please! Help! Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met. Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me, or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, Doctor. So let it abandon you. It wants you to eat rats. What is the local news hereabouts, Miss Billow? Shadows. Shadows hunting shadows. Whispers in the dark. Pestilence. Suffering. Death. the nail right on the head. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Let's see if there's anyone else out and about. Whoops. All right, people. Who have I not met yet? Actually, where the hell is everyone? Oh, restaurant. 
I'm sure Kaloon Russell has no interest in such a conventional menu. What is it? Steaks, liver and bacon? Ew! Salt fish, egg? Okay, all of this is either boring or disgusting. Seriously, no one? Alright, let's just go to the Ascalon Club then. What's this? Is this some kind of, like, sacrificial altar? You wouldn't sacrifice people there, obviously. It's not quite big enough for that. There's a spigot there, some kind of water fountain thing. Just making sure there's nothing I can steal. Alright, time to meet these people. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Panic at the disco. Because you look like you could be. Sing about your high, high hopes. <laughs> I love Panic at the Disco, by the way. There has been quite a battle here. Oh, he's an interesting man. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Oh, come Welcome on, chat. To the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Oh, fine. Be boring. I thought they didn't fight the Guard of Free Wen. There might be a way to exit. I don't want to go in there just yet. Can I play the piano? Ah, oh, come on. Guess Jonathan isn't musically inclined. No one is stopping me from doing this. This very elite club, and I'm rummaging through drawers. Ooh. Can I take the sword? That could be really useful. everybody. It's gonna be a setup, this is gonna be a big boss fight, and I'm not ready.
Oh look, more money. Well, from what I understand, Mr. Aloysius is the richest man in London. So I think he can uh, lose a couple shillings here and there. Go around the other way. Ooh, a good dagger. Not really gonna sweat it too much. My hacksaw does more than that, so. Alright, so I can't go through this door. There must have been a way to get through the curtains. I didn't want to just push them aside. I thought that would be rude. Good evening. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, here, here. here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I have been eager to make your acquaintance. I have heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? She has proven useful. That is, uh, kind of mean. I admire her. Yes, she is. I may even say I admire her probity and her kindness. She has helped me since I was reborn. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of the Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End. But the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why do you suddenly need me? The Ascalon Club only recruits the best, and you definitely fit the bill. Your scientific and medical reputation alone would qualify you as a candidate. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End. Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Um... Let's be nice. This guy seems way too powerful to piss off. No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. 
What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club, and to serve me as such. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. Sounds like a noble enough cause. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Is he dead? What does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown, that you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. So like Lord Barris in Game of Thrones? I can handle that. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire, but the true nature of its members remains a secret. Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members, and I do appreciate obedience. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. I guess it's time to join. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall, speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! That wasn't at all creepy. I all right, can I talk to all these people, people now? West End, and I spotted at least two foreign... Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece, figuratively? Uh, 
I guess I'm uneasy. It's quite unsettling. As a doctor, I am more used to being the observer than the subject observed. Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Aloysius? I thought everyone else pronounced it Aloysius. I prefer it the other way. You should change it, buddy. <laughs> what can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? I would not dare speak of our chairman without his consent. Are you not afraid? You are surrounded by vampires. Sir, it's for that very reason that I joined the club in the first place. Is not the nature of this club a secret shared by only a privileged few? My dear Dr. Reed, I have spent years and a fortune precisely to gather that kind of information. So you asked for membership? I have been a member of many clubs in many countries. But I must admit, this one is my favorite. Oh. If you get accepted into this one, you'll live forever. It is a bit appealing. Are you a member of the club? Yes, I am. And I have been for many years. And will be until the day I die. What can you tell me about it? It's not really my place to give you such information. I am merely a mortal member. And a dying one at that. Are you sick? Personally, I consider my advancing years are a sickness in itself. My body is slowly abandoning me, Dr. Reed. Can't fight that logic, honestly. Mr. Dawson, of Dawson and Dawson, the wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. What is the situation like in this part of town? I am sure Lord Redgrave will enlighten you more effectively than I. What do you know about the Guard of Prewell? I should not say this, but I admire their commitment. This is what the nation needs right now. Really? But they are our enemies. They are not mine, Dr. Reed. Would you help them? No. There is a time for such methods. But brute force will not be enough to fight this plague. We have to think differently. You're an interesting man. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. A formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. I live in America. Please don't talk to me about building a wall. By doing so, you would create two separate ghettos. What if the disease gets past the wall? The results would be disastrous. Not if we eliminate all suspected cases of infection as soon as they appear. 
unnecessary sacrifice. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. Okay, I officially don't like you. And I need to be level six. Well, someday I will be back for you. I can't talk to either of you. Nor you. Righto then. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago, well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Spera. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. I was chased by a gigantic falcon. You were spying on me. Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. Well, he was crushing people's skulls. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Banshaw was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Volkod. All muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. He didn't look anything like a werewolf. I guess mortals are stupid. You do know I killed him. Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the skulls. All of the skulls? Yeah, some skulls are peaceful. I have met peaceful and wise skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skulls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So. What do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Oh good, I'm already up to mesmerize what? What's this for? Can I talk to you people yet? Have you heard the rumors of some horned vampire revealing himself and singing obscure songs around the city? What is this new malevolence? Skulls have been spotted everywhere in London. We are losing this fight. Well, someone's whiny. Okay, I guess it's time to go talk to people on the street again.
There we go. I was going to say, where's this Come guy? Come to the Ascalon Club, then, Doctor.